What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. So, Evercade has been dropping some news the past, what, two or three days now? And it wouldn't be surprising if they drop another chunk of news tomorrow. But uh, yesterday, you know, they they dropped the VSR and the EXPR. And I kind of, you know, I asked in my community post if anyone was planning on getting this. Well... You know, there's really not like an upgrade to these things. In fact, uh, the EXP is actually a downgrade because you don't get the Capcom library on it because, you know, the Capcom license expired. You're just getting the handheld. The color scheme on these, I do like a lot. You know, if you think about it, if if you already own a EXP or a VS... I mean, why would you really want this? I mean, the, the cool thing about this is they drop the prices on these. They're both a hundred bucks. They're ninety nine ninety nine. So it's really, you know, an affordable way for you know newcomers to join the Evercade community. So that's really cool. Now, me personally, this might sound a little bit ridiculous because I own both the EXP and the VS. Plus, I have the Super Pockets. Um, I do have my eye on the original Evercade. I, I just for some reason I I just want it just to have it. But uh, you would think, do I really need another VS and another EXP? Well, I do think I am going to get the new EXP or VS for sure because my VS currently is powering my arcade cabinet, which is right next to this camera, and. Uh, not every game is meant to be played with an arcade stick. You know, the, the joystick and the, the buttons, they work good for arcade carts. And that's, that was my main priority with that VS is to the arcade carts. I'm kind of bummed that they have not announced any arcade carts. Evercade, man, come on, man. That's the reason I bought the Evercade to begin with was the arcade carts. But... Anyway, back to this. I do want one VS power in this arcade cabinet. The uh, I do want another VS so I can play like the console games and use a controller because it's a pain in the ass to keep on plugging it and then have to remap the buttons for the arcade stick or what's built into my arcade. It'd be it'd just be nice to have a second console. And on top of that, it's black and my arcade cabinet is black. Unfortunately, my arcade cabinet is black and purple. The new VS and the XP is a black and like a turquoise, so that wouldn't match. But I don't care because the VS is like in a cubby hole anyway. So I wouldn't mind having like the black VS in there. And then I'll take this original white VS out and put it on a shelf and start playing my games. If you hear my dogs barking we have a bad storm coming through right now and it's thundering like crazy so yeah they're going kind of nuts right now now as far as the new exp are i wouldn't mind getting that even though it doesn't have the capcom library on it because i do like the looks of it but let me know in the comment section because maybe I missed something when I was reading. I didn't really watch the video on it. I was just reading what I got in my email about it. Is there a new battery in it? Because if it's the same battery that's in this, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be a hard pass for me. But it, you know, it sucks because I really do like the looks of it. Let me know in the comments about that. And of course, the other news that came out today is the actual certified release of the Tomb Raider collection for the Evercade on a Giga Cart. Now we knew this was happening anyway because of a uh, Amazon leak. Uh, thank you Amazon because sometimes you know as much as I like Evercade they kind of leave us in the dark for a little while so I didn't mind this leak at all. Uh, I didn't really care about the other leak but looking forward to this one. So it looks like these are the original um, Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. These are not, I don't think they're the remastered. They don't look like the remastered versions because uh, you can always tell from the triangle titties on Laura Croft. And, you know, that's that's retro, man. That's that's the way it is, man. Because they did, they did remaster these where they kind of round out her 
chests and stuff like that. Hey man, I, I don't mind this whatsoever because I was a big Tomb Raider fan. I loved Tomb Raider 2 and uh, 3 was really good as well. I think it's a step in the right direction for Evercade. You know, it might not be like the greatest or anything like that, but I think this cart is going to really sell like good. And another thing that this surprised me, they are putting this cart in as a bundle with the new Evercade VSR and EXPR. So that's pretty cool, man. I think this is this is how they are going to sell them new consoles. Or not new, but uh, rebranded, I guess. Not even rebranded. Recolored is really all it is. But um, yeah, I think it, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to end up getting this uh, Tomb Raider collection for sure. The other leak, and you can probably expect it tomorrow or in a day or two from, from Evercade, is that, what is that, Thalamus collection, a C64 collection, which I give two fucking shits about because I'm sick of C64 collections. I could care less if they ever made any more. But again, that's selfish on my part because there is a lot of C64 fans out there, but I have no interest in them whatsoever. I want a arcade collection. That's really what I want. And and it's starting to starting to irritate me a little bit. I mean, hopefully they have some arcade collections coming out this year. A lot of us really like arcade games, but I know a lot of people like the C64 shit too. But man, come on. Arcade cards are way better than C64. My opinion, but whatever, man. Let me know what you guys think of uh, all this. Are you going to pick up the... Tomb Raider cart because I definitely am because I'm a Tomb Raider fan um and also let me know your thoughts on the new EXPR and VSR if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it really helps out this channel a lot and I greatly appreciate it and until the next video game on everybody